Hello everyone, this is The Rad Guy. I figured since this is my first video with voiceover, I would give a quick introduction about myself, followed by a introduction into health physics. So my name is DJ, and I am a grad student at Illinois Institute of Technology. I am currently pursuing my master's in health physics. I've pretty much been doing nuclear and health physics my entire working career. I started out as a Navy nuclear operator doing radiological controls and steam plant chemistry. And currently I do radiological emergency preparedness, which I'll probably go into in a video later on. I started out this channel because I see that there's a general lack of knowledge when it comes to radiation and nuclear amongst the public. And I really want to get out there and educate people on the realities behind the technologies. So let's get into it. What exactly is radiation health physics science? If it's the media that you would base your understanding of radiation on, you might think that radiation has to do with turning you into a big green mutant getting superpowers from being bitten by a radioactive spider, or having your face melted off by an exposed reactor core. Some people think it has to do with mutated animals wandering the forest of Chernobyl, or swimming in the Fukushima contaminated waters of the Pacific. What if I told you that pretty much none of that was true, and the reality behind the science of radiation is actually a lot less scary than you might think? and more promising than you've been led to believe. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Before we get into what health physics is exactly, I'd like to get into the basics of radiation and radioactivity. Radiation comes in two different forms, electromagnetic waves and particles. The electromagnetic waves is actually something you're a lot more familiar with than you might think. It's light. That's right. All light that you can see is electromagnetic radiation. The type of radiation that people are typically referring to when they're talking about radiation is photons that have enough energy to create ions and break chemical bonds, therefore causing the potential for health effects. The radiation that we can see with our eyes is low energy, long wavelength, and low frequency radiation. Once you start getting beyond what you can see with your eyes, you get into your UV, and at the high end of the UV spectrum, you can get ionization of bonds. And that's about where health physics becomes relevant. A commonly known example of ionizing electromagnetic radiation are x-rays which are used at dental offices or on your luggage at the airport. Particle radiation is not as well known. It's basically particles with energy. They can range from particles from the size of electrons and protons all the way up to uranium. Just like with electromagnetic radiation, with particulate radiation, we're usually talking about particles with enough energy to break chemical bonds and cause ionization. There's one more thing that I want to talk about before we move on, and that's the difference between radiation and radioactivity, or contamination. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the word radiation used incorrectly. It's typically when people are talking about radiation, they talk about it leaking out of a container or a reactor. Um, radiation doesn't exactly leak in the sense that people think. Radiation, remember, that's waves or particles with energy. Now, contamination or radioactivity can leak. Contamination is the substance that's emitting the radiation. I like to give the analogy of a fire pit. The fire itself, or the coals, is the contamination or radioactivity. That heat that you're feeling from the fire, that is the radiation. And in reality, that actually is the radiation that you're feeling coming off of that fire. It's infrared radiation. That's 
non-ionizing radiation, by the way. You don't have to worry that you're irradiating yourself every time you have a campfire. There's a lot more to the basics of radiation, but we'll save that for another video. Now that we have a basic understanding of radiation, we can talk about what is health physics. As health physicists, it is our responsibility to protect the public and the environment from the hazards of radiation while allowing society to reap those benefits of radiation and radioactivity that I kind of alluded to at the beginning of this video. Some of those benefits include medical applications such as x-rays or CT scans, and then there's industrial uses such as disinfecting all blood that comes from blood banks. And then there's food sterilization, which could be very beneficial by increasing the shelf life of all sorts of different foods. And that just barely scratches the surface of the beneficial uses of radiation science. Health physics is also used in emergency response, which is the field that I mentioned that I'm in. We're trained to respond to nuclear plant accidents, lost industrial sources, radiological dispersive devices, basically a dirty bomb, and improvised nuclear devices. So there you have it. That's health physics in a nutshell. There is loads more for us to learn about, and I hope to cover it in upcoming videos. If there's something that you want to learn about when it comes to radiation and health physics, please leave a comment below and make sure you click subscribe if you want to keep learning more.